Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Sa. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 7, lesson 2, order of operations. Page number is 487. Okay. Guys, to understand the order of operation, you have to memorize these four steps, four key concepts of order of operation. The first one, perform operations in parentheses. You know what are the parentheses? These are the parentheses. Whatever you have inside the parentheses, plus, minus, or exponents, or multiply, or divide, first you have to solve this inside the parentheses. Okay? Now, find the value of exponents. What are exponents? Exponents are like this. For example, 10, its power is 3. Which means what? Which means 10 times 10 times 10 equals what? 10 times 10, 100. 100 times 10, 1000. 10, its power is 3, so 3 tenths. It doesn't mean 10 times 3, okay? So it means 1000. Or, for example, let's say 4, its power 2. Boys, it doesn't mean 4 times 2 equals 8, no. It means what? 2 fours. 4 times 4 equals 16 okay so the first thing you solve the parentheses the brackets these parentheses whatever inside you have perform operations inside the parentheses the first thing to solve the numerical operation you do what solve the operations in the parentheses the second thing find the value of exponents whatever you have as an exponent find its value find its total. The third thing, multiply and divide. Okay. In order from left to right, like whatever comes first. If multiplication comes first, you solve that. If division comes first, you solve that. But if addition comes first, you will not solve that. Okay. From left to right means what? Like this is a numerical expression. Okay. How we solve it? From left to to right. Now, if you see, first we solve this multiplication, then we will not solve this addition. We finish the multiplications first, okay? Because they said multiply and divide in order from left to right. First, finish all the multiplications and divisions in your expression. And then, addition and subtraction. Add and subtract in order from left to right. Okay, now, for example, this example here, 12 times 4 plus 10 times 8. So first we will finish the multiplication, 12 times 4, 48, 10 times 8, 80, and now we will add them. Okay, we will not do this like 12 times 4, 48, and then 48 plus 10, no, it's wrong, okay. According to these rules, you have to finish all the multiplications and divisions from left to right. Okay, and then at the end, you will add and subtract. So here, 12 times 4, 48, 10 times 8, 8, and then plus it, 128. Now guys, as I told you, that first we solve the parentheses, and then we solve the exponents, and then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. You have to memorize these four rules to understand the order of operation. Now, inside the parentheses, there are three types. On the next page, I will show you. These are the three types of parentheses. The first one, first is parentheses. It is written here, parentheses, okay? What are parentheses? This one. 
So the first thing you solve the parenthesis in your expression. Like this is expression. Where are the parentheses? Here. This one. 10 divide 2. So the first thing you will solve this one. 10 divide 2 equals 5. Remaining everything come down as it is. The second thing you're going to solve, brackets. These are the types of the brackets, guys, okay? The second thing, brackets. We also call it square brackets, okay? So don't get confused if you see a word square brackets or brackets. Both are same thing. And the last thing, the third one, braces. Its shape is like this. Got it? So, as I told you, that these are the four rules. Parentheses, then the exponents, then multiply, divide, and then add, subtract. And inside the parentheses, we have three types, which we have solved to solve one by one. First, we solve the parentheses, then the brackets, and then the braces. So these are the parentheses. We solve them first. Now the second term for brackets. Where are the brackets? These one. 4 plus 5 under the brackets. So we solve 4 plus 5 equals 9. And then the term for the braces. Here are the braces. 4 plus 9. We solve it and then minus. That's it. Similarly here. First we solve the parentheses. Where are the parentheses? This one. 2 times 4 its power is 2 so inside the parentheses we have an exponent so first we solve this 4 power 2 4 times 4 16 and then 2 times 16 32 okay the remaining everything comes down as it is now the turn for the bracket square bracket 32 divide 8 4 and then the braces 28 plus 4 32 Similarly, by following these rules, you guys will solve all these independent practice. Okay, here you will solve the parenthesis first. 92 minus 18 equal what, guys? Yes, 92 minus 18, 74. And then multiply by 5. Here, similarly, you will solve this first. It is equal to 16 and then plus and minus. In this question, you will not minus first, you will multiply first, okay? According to the rule, divide, multiply first, and then addition and subtraction. So finish all these questions by yourself and then match your answers from this video. Okay, the next page here. Three students are on same team for our well, this is the evaluate this is the expression 54 minus 3 minus 18 54.3 minus 18.8 plus 17.7 so these are the value of the third one so to find the value of the third one we will solve this expression okay and you will find this value here they give you the value in Fahrenheit, the temperature. You know that it's in Celsius and it's in Fahrenheit. So if it is 104 degree Fahrenheit, how to convert it into centigrade? So this is the expression to convert it into centigrade. You will put this 104 instead of this degree F, okay? 104 here, and then minus it from 32 and then multiply by 5 and then divide by 9 you will get this one got it guys similarly remaining these questions try to solve by yourself and then match your answers from this video i hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr sad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day